Then I'm going to put in two tablespoons of carob powder. Why aren't I using chocolate? Well, carob powder is supposed to be so much better for you than chocolate. Chocolate has theobromine, which is an addictive substance, which is why people get addicted to chocolate. And also because it can help you wake up. <laughs> and sometimes I need that too. So I got a fork here. I'm just going to mix this carob powder in and it mixes in really nicely with oil. So it kind of helps it melt. And you can use chocolate powder, of course. So the next thing is I've used a coffee grinder. So this is a dedicated coffee grinder. What that means is I just use it for things like herbs and spices and coconut for yummy desserts, pair of coconut truffles. So this is about three quarters of a cup. And you use a whole cup of uh, coconut. And so what I did was I used unsweetened organic coconut. And I got it in a package at the health food store. And this can also be used as a coating, which makes you think it's like powdered sugar or something. And especially if you can't eat sugar, it's, it really looks like a great treat and it tastes good too. But they say looks are part of it. And if I don't knock the whole kitchen apart, we'll do great. <laughs> okay, so um, this is the quarter cup. So I, I ground that up first, it makes it easier. You can do it all together. And if your grandma cook like me, it works. Okay, so we're going to mix in the coconut. And now it may seem kind of squishy a little bit, but that's because, and like it won't roll into balls, which is what we're going to do later. But you see how it's starting to stiffen up, and the coconut oil was warm. Coconut oil, or you can use butter if you want, same thing, it will harden up, especially ghee or clarified butter. Now we're going to put in a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Um, supposedly, if you're gluten-free, you need flavoring. There are different camps about that. If you want, you can try it, but uh, um, only if your doctor says so, of course. We're going to put in a half a teaspoon of stevia. This might look different to you because it's actually darker. It's the whole leaf stevia, which I believe in using because I know that it's actually better for you than the more refined, which is true of almost any food, as you probably know. So about half a teaspoon of that, and that's going to be to taste because not everybody likes sweet sweets. Some people like it sweeter. You just decide what works for you. And then we're going to, this is my secret ingredient, a little bit of almond extract. 